we've kind of test run the Juno for the last couple of weeks and all of the classes have benefited from this experience. I know when the technology came, the students were very excited to try it out and see what it was all about. I know that within our discussions that we have in the English classroom, it utilizes um, the front row philosophy, bringing all the students to the front row and that they can participate and have the excellent flow of conversation. When the Juno came, he was very enthusiastic and excited because it was equipment that um, looked like typical equipment that could be used by everybody, not just students with hearing loss. And his previous equipment that he tried, he felt was special and different and, and made him feel, it stood out, made him stand out more than this new equipment. Now for Tristan, instead of passing a very small mic around and having it disrupt the flow of conversation, we can utilize the mics and the students are intrigued by the technology and it helps them to be able to articulate their thoughts. The teachers love the pendants, the mic microphones. Um, there's less uh, clutter around the teachers using it. They don't get the wires caught in their hair. Hi, my name is Tristan. I'm a student who is have unit aid. I like it you know better because hair and clothes there is no rubbing that makes static in my hearing aid age. The other advantage of the Juno is it captures the lessons for him. So he can easily review things um, at home for homework. He uploads his uh, work to Google Docs and then can access it on his home computer at home on the internet and, and review things or use the lessons uh, to help him complete homework assignments. Having the Juno is just amazing for Tristan's learning because he can hear so much more clearly through the Juno. But we've also been able to capture our lessons um, using the Elmo and the Juno together on video, which not only helps Tristan, but it's also able to help all the other students in the class. We are now taking those lessons and we can upload them onto Weebly so that students who are awake can access them, or students who need to go back and review that lesson have the ability to do that, which is absolutely key to not only Tristan's learning, but to all the other students in the class learning. So we appreciate this opportunity. In this particular equation, number one, we've got 3x plus 2 equals 8. We need to move the two units. To be able to move it, we need to zero the units out. So we are going to subtract two units from each side of the equation. When you do that, you make zero or cancel those units out. You need to keep everything moving straight down the page. So you're going to rewrite 3x equals, and now we've got 8 minus 2, which is 6. We're still not finished, however, because x is not isolated. Whenever you see a number beside a variable, that means you're multiplying those two things. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So you need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. And when you do that, you cancel out the 3's on this side, leaving x. And on the other side, we've got 6 divided by 3, which is 2.
There's an easy way to check to see if you are correct. So you need to. Where the heart pumps blood to the rest of the body, some of that blood comes right back to the heart to supply it with nutrients. That's the coronary artery. So there is blood that will be pumped right away from the heart, and then it comes right back in, comes down the coronary artery, okay? And the coronary artery you can follow and will go on to the back side of the heart as well, okay? This is what a heart attack is, by the way. A heart attack is when the coronary artery gets clogged. If we clog the coronary artery, all of a sudden we're not able to get nutrients to the heart, and then we have a heart attack, and if you can't get nutrients to the heart, it's not gonna pump. Okay. All right, so this group. Also, we just finished presentations on what makes a good book great, and Tristan was able to present his presentation using the Juno and the mic, and, and as a hearing impaired student, he was able to articulate his present presentation using the Juno, which I think benefited the whole class to be able to hear him speak clearly through the microphone, and benefited his self-confidence, I think, that you could see a a difference in Tristan while he was presenting, that he was confident in front of the class, that he is eager to use the technology every day. And I think the best thing about Juno is it, that it doesn't make Tristan feel alienated or different, that the students are excited and they all benefit from the program. My awesome, awesome, action-packed, exciting, extreme superhero inventor book is The Accidental Hero by my Clues. Introduction of Characters Protagonist Jack Plank Jack Plank Jack is a 12 year old boy who grows up in an orphanage. He does not know anything about who fa his family is and he doesn't even know his own last name. The orphanage sits on top of a, of a swamp, swamp and flood the basement. In the orphanage, many kids had bullied him and hate him. He enters the library and read his favorite comic books. Later, he enters into a secret country and tries to find out about himself. There he gets infected by Ruslov, who is an enemy's parasite who tries to take over his body. Everyone hates him because he got infected. Jack believes that he won't become a Ruslov because he has a special power in his body. With his power, Jack can control missionary where people believe and learn to accept Jack. My drawing. His confidence has gone up, um, and he's he's really been much happier since the Juno has come. So it's great.